Good. So next one then, very, very important. Good person said, please continue. We are listening. Everything you say is really important. Thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate that. All right, next one is, is the salary the same as promised to you in interviews and is it written down correctly? So very important, right? Your salary. So I'm going to show you an example. Um, this is also from, yeah, from a Korean contract. <clears throat> so there's always like a joke for um, teachers in Korea because our salaries are millions. <laughs> for example, a monthly basic salary of 2.1 million won. So in Korea, um, you're a millionaire, basically. <laughs> but 2.1 million won, um, that's like... I think a little bit less than 2,000 US dollars. So, yeah. But this is how it's indicated. So you want to have basically stated a monthly basic salary of 2.1 million won. So is the salary correct? Is it the same as what you discussed in the interview? And then there'd also usually be a little bit more detail. So they would calculate that. Uh, what it's a yearly, what the yearly amount looks like, and then how also how it will be paid. So, and also the hour, how it's calculated per hour and things like that. So that's very important. And then also you need to make sure that overtime, is overtime paid or not paid? Is that stated in a contract? It should be stated. Sometimes it's paid and then it um, should indicate like here, the overtime compensation per hour, 60 minutes is 26,000 won. That's like 22, $23, I believe. <clears throat> so that should be stated. Um, if you get paid overtime, it needs to be stated how much. So this is correct here. Or maybe it says overtime is not paid, then it's not paid. Um, just make sure it's what you've discussed before. If you if you not if you have not discussed overtime, then you know it's just how it is. You might be you you can always ask right your employer about anything you're not sure of in a contract. It's better to ask more questions than to just sign and not be like 100 sure of what you're signing. Um, so important is an overtime rate stated. Sometimes there is not because overtime is not paid in some schools. Um, or there is no overtime, but yeah, that's very important. So yeah, <laughs> also I will say in some contracts, it's not as detailed as here. Um, they would just say like monthly salary and also for, for all the Americans out there, um, typically it's the salary is paid on a monthly basis, not weekly or bi-weekly. So that's something to consider as well um once a month and that kind of also varies from school to school they all usually do it on a different day sometimes it's like the first of the month sometimes it's the 10th or the 15th it really depends on the school um but that should also be stated in the contract when it is paid actually so um it doesn't say it in this paragraph but probably later on um and i think there, I'm going to talk about that as well in a little bit. But yeah, that's that about the salary. Good. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.